what is up everybody i hope you're having a wonderful day and if you want to recruit the druid paladin menthira as a companion in boulders gate 3 i'm going to give you a quick guide on how to do it so first of all in order to encounter her she is one of the leaders of the goblin camp so if you're siding with the druids and you have the task to kill all three leaders obviously killing her is not going to make her your companion there are some ways to get around it and stuff but you know, if you're doing that quest, you're almost going to have a little bit of a more challenge. If you side with the goblins, it's way more easier to get her on your team. And you can, this isn't advisable, but you can ignore the whole arc of the druids and the goblins. You can side with neither faction, do everything you can in Act 1 that doesn't have to do with those two fighting, and just progress to Act 2. And no matter which option you choose, as long as she is alive, she will be in trial in the Moonrise Towers for failing at getting the artifact. So that leads us to the process here. When you do get to the Moonrise Towers, if you take the mountain path and you don't come from the Underdark, you're going to pop up over here on this side. If you go through the Underdark, you're going to pop up way up here and it's a lot harder to get to Moonrise Towers and there's other stuff in the way. So I definitely recommend going the mountain path or the goblin path. Uh, because you're not, you don't want to deal with the stuff up there if you can avoid it. If you side it with the goblins, you'll have an escort to get through here, so it'll be a little bit easier. And then basically, you'll get into the towers, you'll watch some cutscenes. Minthara is going to be on trial, you got to save her. Once you save her and convince them that, you know, all these things, then you'll be able to get her as a permanent companion. And it's, it's that simple, that's it. So hopefully this quick little guide was helpful and showed people how to get her. She's not really complicated, it's just you can't let her die. I mean, self-explanatory. And now you have a nice drow paladin on your team that's a companion that just functions like the other six. So like I said, any questions, comments, drop them down below. I'd be glad to help anybody out that's struggling with this. And as always, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, later guys, peace out, have a good one.